Hey guys, it's Buddy702 here, and welcome back to episode 6 on the Skycade server. Today, I will be building a lovely wood farm. That's what I was trying to get out. I've tried different designs for 1.13.2 wood farms that would be small and fit into this area, but there's only one farm that will do the trick and will work nice and good. And it is the farm designed by Mumbo Jumbo a few years ago. And this farm here can work with four different types of wood. It can work best with oak. It doesn't want to place down. It can work with birch. It can work with jungle saplings. And it can work with acacia. I just have to double check because sometimes it can break the system. So this is where we're going to be placing the farm down here. It's going to be a little bit cramped in between the villager breeder here and our lovely melon farm, which works like a charm over there. So I'm planning on building it down so it's sort of level with the ground through here. Is that, is that level with the ground? Well, it's level with this stuff anyway. So this is the plan, is to have it built along here. And just, I'm just going to go ahead and place down sort of a little foundation area that we can sit it on top of just so it's a little bit easier and then the actual farm will be built up just a little bit higher and this is where we are going to have our wood getting chopped anyway because a little bit here you're going to stand on the pressure plate placing down the wood for the dispenser dispensing bone meal which i have actually started to get a good amount of since i found myself a lovely or a single spawner just takes a few days to get a chest full of stuff because it's quite inefficient but it's a good way of getting xp anyway so i'm going to crack on and get this little foundation done and well i'm going to have to do this in stages this video today because i'm not sure i've only really built a tree farm well, actually i haven't really built an automatic tree farm before even on my little private single player world which I've got from 2017, I did a big world by myself, and it was, yeah, I didn't have a single tree farm, which was weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flatten off this area, and I'll see you guys once I've done that there, when we start placing down all the redstone bits and bobs over here. See you guys in a tick. Okay, everyone, it's time to start working on this lovely farm so there's probably gonna be a chance i'm gonna do it completely incorrect but that is how it always goes for me if i do a farm for the first time it never normally works out so i need to go up six blocks tall uh, i might have to move the farm up there that's gonna be a bit of a pain so now that we've done that there we're gonna just quickly hop down below here and we are putting ourselves in a lovely glass slab going there or glass block we're going along the back there double slab there because i'm going to build this out of slabs to like that and we're placing in our lovely dropper and next off i need to bounce up here and i need to go along and go out well, i need to be up one more high so it needs to be go out one two and then this is going to be a, become a pain in the art pain in the butt is it then we go one two two three four and five and you guys probably know this farm anyway since it's quite a popular design so now we need to remove that there and we need to make this go five tall so one two, that's layer one now completed let's say layer one three four And layer five is now done. For now for this one here, we go out one, two, three, four blocks. And this one here only has to be four wide. So one, two, three, and four. And this has to go up five high as well. If I don't waste all my pistons there. This three, four. And five. I should have some spare pistons there in theory. Let's just get rid of all this junk that I've got placed around here. And I'm now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to place in all the redstone bits and bobs because most likely 
I'm going to do something incorrect and it's just not going to, it won't work out. I'd rather do little updates instead of wasting my time and getting it in incorrect. Some weird block lag there. It goes down like that there. And let's just add in a double slab there with a repeater, which is supposed to go in there. So I'm going to go ahead now. And the first things first, I need to go ahead and just place in some lovely blocks going along here. So I'll see you guys once I have placed in the redstone going oops, around the outside there. Because I might just stop talking or I'm just going to sidetrack myself quite a bit. Anyway, see you guys in a tip. Okay, here we go, people. This should work now this time. There we go. Oh, perfect. Last time I tried this, I just stayed there. This person didn't want to extend because I placed one solid block here, which is pretty stupid of me because it took me quite a while to figure out what had gone wrong. So here is the first set of the farm, nice and done with the leaf crushes and the pusher there. And I did have a couple escaped little prisoners there those villages so I'm gonna have to get rid of them shortly but anyway the farm is starting to piece together nicely so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the pistons that there and I'll see you guys once I have done that hopefully it shouldn't take too long compared to this last bit okay everyone all the redstone should now be in place after a couple mishaps of it not working so it's time to fully test it out and hopefully it's gonna go <laughs> In the first run. So I've got 12 saplings here. <laughs> what? Is that supposed to be a dispenser? What? A... <laughs> this isn't going great. Oh, I put the wrong one in. Oh, oops. Let's place it down there. I said, Why do I have a dropper there for? It's supposed to be a dispenser. Okay, I'm just going to fix it up. Okay, so dropper. Dispenser now. There we go. And now let's come around here. And I've got some bow meal that's ended up around here. And let's have a go this time. Here we go. I'm just going to wait until I've chewed up all my 12 saplings. You can see how slow the connection is. Is the farm broken or is it just my connection? Hmm. What? What the heck's happened here? It's just decided to break. Really? <sighs> Heavy breathing going into the microphone right now. I, I don't I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and try and see if Okay, that's sort of done something there. Let's see if that's gonna refix this out. Okay, there's something not, let's remove those there, hop up around here, take those there out and see if that fixes it up, maybe. Okay. This doesn't seem to be firing for some reason. Okay, that's very odd. Let's take that one there out and that should reset it. Why haven't you reset yourself? 
Okay, let's get rid of that there. Take out all this wood here. And see if this will do anything then. Okay. Let's have another attempt. There we go, clicking. That's good so far. Okay, that, that extends out. And it freezes up. I'm not sure. See that one there's not expanded. I'm not sure what's going on really. Okay, I'm just going to probably cut all this out now until I figure out what's gone wrong. Because none of this is powered. It's not the villager farm interfering with it, is it? Okay, it's that block there. Is there another block around here that's interfering? There we go, that's a bit better. Now that there's out of the picture. Oh, you can fall through pistons. Huh, never knew that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. By going P warp blocks us. Oops, uh, blocks are what blocks? There we go. Sorry for butchering that there. But anyway, this is a beautiful place on the server, and they sell very cheap wood. So if you sort of get what I'm trying to do here with plenty of bow meal and wood, we're gonna see if we can compete against the Alpha 4, 5, 6, but that's probably not going to happen anyway. By the way, I'm just, my prices will be probably exactly the same, because if you come to these most places, they're normally always completely out of stock, as you can see. Everything is mainly nice and out of stock. Well, hopefully they're not online, because I'll be spamming them, because I don't like doing that. See, everything is out of stock here. I need wood. Everyone on the server needs wood. There's a market for wood. And if you have a look at p Grind, well, we don't really have that much wood here. We do, however, have plenty of iron in stock right now. But I want to try and get a nice selection of wood up and running. Because as soon as I have wood, I can get the cash rolling in, which would be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to try and get this thing here working again. Because I, I, so I don't get what's going wrong with it. Because it just pops out and it should be pushing the wood along. But there's something wrong with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys once I get it going. And if I do get it going, there should be a pile of wood here. Hopefully in a time lapse form. We will see. So I'll see you guys once I fix up this disaster of a machine. Okay, everyone, you can see that I am in this mode here, looking out, and you can see the tree farm is kicking into action. Currently, I have 12 saplings in my hand, and, well, we are starting to pump out trees here. I figured out what was wrong. I had a double slab placed in an area where it's only supposed to be a slab, and that's why the farm wasn't working. Now, I can place trees for or whenever and keep them going along and you guys can enjoy this lovely little time lapse here. I'm about to run out of saplings in my hand here. Oops, no, picked up some more, which is good. I've got nothing in the chest at the moment, so at the end of this I should hopefully have a lovely stack of saplings, apples, and there we go, just ran out of saplings. You might see me pop out there. Um, ooh, uh... We currently don't have any saplings in here. Then you're about to see that in my other account there because I'm here using another laptop to record this here. And is there any saplings around here? No. Oh, this is great and helpful, isn't it? 
I'm just going to have to run through here and run underneath and go into my base and grab some more. Hopefully I've got some more hidden around in here. There we go. So I've just grabbed myself another stack of saplings there. And as soon as I hop back over here, I'm going to speed it up and stop talking. And I'll see you guys at the end once I've managed to completely fill up this area here. And when I am doing it, you can see my little villages in the corner there breeding away. Did have to accidentally, sadly, get rid of a few of them because they fell down into my redstone. But, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this little time lapse here. And I'll see you guys once I've got a massive section of logs there. Hope you enjoy. I know you guys currently cannot see me, but I'm underneath here, just finished placing in the last tree, as you guys can see, and that was such a lovely little time lapse there. And I have managed to, out of that, well, out of 10 minutes it only took to get that there, I've managed to get half a stack of apples, or 29 apples, two stacks plus 37 oak saplings, which is awesome. So now it is time to do the long process of chopping this down. This is still a lot quicker than going into the wild, I suppose, and doing it. And it just adds into the area. So as you can see here, I'm running along here, and we're going to have to tidy up down here and make a little platform so it's a little bit more nicer. But I just look up at you there, as you can see there. And I have got on me an efficiency 4 pickaxe, or axe, I should say, and with unbreaking 3. So I suppose it is time to crack right on to taking this out. And as you can see that, oh, on my end, there's a bit of block lag. But on the screen, it looks perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to type wipe all of this here out. Oops, I can see there's logs glitched underneath there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe all of this out. And I'll see you guys once I have done that there. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So I've been talking to you guys for about a minute so far and I have already got a stack. So let's crack on with another bit of this time lapse. Sorry if this bores you guys, but you can just skip forward a little bit. I'll be spitting it up quite a bit. So let's go again. And I'll see you guys at the end, and hopefully we have got a lovely 9 plus stacks of wood. If that is so, it'll be well worth this farm. See you guys then. Here we go, everyone, this area is nice and clear now. After 10 minutes of planting saplings and then pushing it into a giant cube, it only took me roughly 9 minutes to harvest everything, and this is what we've got. We now have 9, 10, 11, about just over 11 and a half stacks of wood, plus a few saplings, plus apples, which is awesome, and it only used 13 stacks, so pretty much equivalent to one stack of this is exactly one piece or one piece of bone meal equals one piece of wood so this is exactly equivalent nearly to how much bone meal it used which is actually pretty good so i'm going to be going ahead and i'm going to be using this farm quite a bit but the next thing we really need to work on as well we need to design this area so it's a little bit more nice and tidier so for now my wood is just going to be sitting in the safety of my home along with those saplings there. So, I'm not exactly sure what the plan is for going around the bottom here. I really don't have an idea. But wood does sit at this height here. So I was thinking, well, this whole build is built off slabs. So what else would be better to go underneath here? Would be probably slabs. Because slabs suit pretty much everything. So I was thinking we can just go along and do slabs going all around the outside and then in the inside I'm pretty sure I've got some spare terracotta, terracotta lying around uh, doesn't look like it, only a couple bits I don't even know how to make, how do you even make terracotta? I don't think you can, can you? Terra what about concrete? How much does it take to make concrete? Okay. There's a way to... Oh, there we go. So to make grey concrete, 
we are going to need ink sacks. I'm not going to use ink sacks because they're pretty expensive in this game. But we could do a row of andesite could look quite nice. So I'm just going to grab a few more slabs I should have lying around here. Oops, I don't need that many. And I need to try and figure out a design. And I'll probably have little bits of lights going in them as well. So I was thinking maybe we could do a, a two wide row of andesite going around. And that means we'll have another two wide row of these slabs going around. So it's sort of like a pattern going around in the middle. Here we go everyone, this is what the farm now looks like. I will over time slowly improve so it looks a lot more nicer. Let's hop down off my little video scaffolding here. I'm still waiting for that lovely replay mod to come out, but this is what it's going to be looking like. I think it's going to bl be blending in really well with all my other farms. We can just pop up over my manky stairs here, manky mushroom cows here. And if we pop up on top of the tree here, we're about to get sort of a view of what the place is starting to look like. I think I've got a block where I need to get up. Okay. Come on. I'm, I can do this. It's not that hard to jump around a block. Here we go. See, we're, our, far, our place is starting to come together nicely. We've got our villager farm over there. We've got the kelp farm there. We have got a melon farm here. We have also now got ourselves a lovely tree farm. And the villager breeder, we've got to probably push that over a little bit more. Because we can't really put it here because it's in range of this farm here. We can't move it this way because it's in range of this one here. So we'll push it over a little bit more. And yeah, I think I might put some farm going deep down underneath here. Maybe the sugarcane farm could be hidden down below. But that's all I've really got time for today. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video. And next time, hopefully we will start work on decorating our little area over here with some trees. But from now on... Well, between now and next episode, I'm probably going to be going here and doing a lot of AFKing here. Or well, not AFKing, getting a crap, well, a lot of wood, I should say. And I'm probably going to be expending up the lovely melon farm, and I'd love to try and get some more going on there. Because it helps me get some lovely profit to myself. And then one day in the future, we will get rid of this shop here. We'll just utterly destroy it, and place it with something that looks a little bit more appealing like P or like blocks are us so that's an amazing looking store or one day which it will probably never happen is warp shop oops not warp shop P warp sh oops P warp shop come on I can type the anyway, P warp shop is amazing like but they are amazing of all the stuff they've got here and how it is all laid out the size of the building and also the frame rates are also Amazing. Why is that one there floating higher than all the other books? That's a bit weird. Anyway, yeah, that's all I've got time for today. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video. And yeah, come to Pewop Grind. Our... Please, I did not buy that. I did not want to buy it. Okay, please come to Pewop Grind because we have lovely iron that's a bit cheaper than here anyway. So I'm going to end it off here in the warp, P Warp Shop. Thanks everyone for watching. And I will see you guys next time in one of these Skycade videos, I suppose. Or maybe in one of my Skyrim videos, which are pretty bad because I'm not really sure what to really do. Especially because I have to try and talk for like an hour straight. Thanks everyone for watching and I will see you guys next time. Let's cue this different outro which I've been using for Skyrim. Thanks for watching and goodbye.